Hillary's eager to get going on her MD map survey, but there's a couple of things to do first. To get ready, she and Michael are going to need the right equipment. Hillary has her smartphone, which is fully charged, and a backup battery just in case. No phone? No problem. A camera and GPS unit can also get the job done. Hillary's also bringing a measuring device. A surveyor's measuring wheel works well on sand, but she could also use a measuring tape or even a measuring app on her phone. She also has transect markers, which can be flags, stakes, or cones. She'll need at least four. We'll talk about transects later. Hillary also has a rope that she's cut to five meters. This will help measure and maintain the five meter transect distance. She'll also bring a sturdy metric ruler to measure debris, a clipboard, pencils, and three important data sheets, the survey cover sheet, four copies of the transect survey form, and since she's establishing a site for the first time, a shoreline site characterization form. If you'd rather not fuss with physical data sheets, reach out to the Marine Debris Program for the latest info on mobile options. Hillary's grabbing a couple of empty five-gallon buckets. You can bring more if you plan to bring your debris home for categorizing, plus a first aid kit and some field basics. Got all that? Good. Now Hillary is going to choose a new survey site. Many survey sites already exist, and you can find them in the MDMAP database, but Hillary is going to demonstrate setting up a new one. There are a few important factors that go into that. A survey site needs to be 100 meters long, about the length of a football field, which Hillary will verify with her measuring wheel. If there's anything blocking that continuous stretch, such as a jetty, waterway, or cliff, or if it includes a busy thoroughfare, it's not a good site. Permanent landmarks near the start or end of the site are very helpful since they'll help identify the site on future surveys. There's a nearby beach that would be perfect. It's the right size, it has landmarks, and it's a continuous stretch. Now that she knows where she's going, Hillary's going to check the tide tables. She doesn't want an incoming tide to disrupt the survey or strand her someplace. All right, Hillary and Michael, all set? It's MD map time. After all the preparation, Hillary and Michael have arrived at the beach and can start surveying the site. Hillary takes out her surveyor's wheel and measures a stretch that's 100 meters long. It's perfect. Since this is the first time the site's being surveyed, Hillary and Michael will fill out a shoreline site characterization form. This includes noting the location using GPS coordinates, describing physical features, and taking photos while standing at the start and end of the site looking toward the center. The survey can now begin. Watch the next video to see how it's done.